Yo, what's going on? This is a tour around Charlotte. Um, Valentine Revisited. I just found a little joint that's in a cut. I want to show you all. You understand? I've already done a video on, on Valentine, but this, this joint, this area right here that I'm going to take you to that's behind Earth Fair, the um, organic store Earth Fair, um, is brand new. I just, I, I, I just, you know, seen it like a couple weeks ago i didn't even it didn't even exist like a year ago excuse me i had to drink something real quick but this is valentine right here you got these little pylons and they got all jazzed up and everything i mean when you're in valentine i'm gonna tell you seriously it's as if you're in another town because valentine really sits it sits away from um charlotte it's like, <clears throat> it's really like on the bottom of Charlotte, you know. Still Creek is on the bottom of Charlotte. It's like, Still Creek area is, is, is you know, like South Carolina. You know, you like right at the state line between North Carolina and South Carolina. But this is the very bottom, Valentine that is. And they, they're redeveloping this area. You know, they're putting, uh, I think it was a man-made lake and a couple other high-rise buildings. So it's ba Valentine reminds me of, a, it's a smaller version of Buckhead. That's my opinion. But then South Park reminds me of, of, of Buckhead as well in Atlanta, for those that don't know what, what Buckhead is is i'm gonna pull right here and make this right show you all where the earth fair is at and on the left hand side there's um la they got la fitness out here they got a couple of stores eateries and stuff like that on the left hand side so right here is make this left right here and this is the earth fair they got one in steel creek as well but this was like the first one this is the one that I always used to go to prior to the one um, in Still Creek. And they actually redid the inside of um, Earth Fair. It's, it's really nice, man. So this is Earth Fair on the right hand side where this lady is walking to. Pretty nice uh, organic uh, grocery store for those that you know shop um, that are vegetarians, vegans. You don't necessarily have to be a vegetarian or a vegan because they also sell meat as well. So. You know, you can get your, uh, what is it? Kosher meat. Um, and then, so we just left Johnston Road. Johnston Road would take you straight into South Park. So South Park and Valentine kind of meet each other, you know? So this right here, all of this stuff is brand new right here. This Lowry is brand new. I didn't know I, I could turn it. And these are like, Apartment, uh, apartments. Let's see. So you can't necessarily turn in on right there. So you know you got your parking parking lot right here. Let me make this U-turn because it's another area further up. Um, these are for really like your, I guess, middle age, single person. Uh, also, uh, you know, of course, you can walk a street, walk walk across the street and get to Earth Fair if you're living right here. Um, and your, you know, your um, your millennials. Like I said, they re, re, they redevelop in Valentine, and so this is the Lowry, L O W R E I. This right here on the left, this is new, Beverly. Let me take you right here real quick. Man, all this stuff, all of this right here, Hampton Inn and, Hampton Inn and Suites, brand new. All of this right here that you see, this, this whole intersection right here is brand new.
So this is called Beverly. Needs apartments right here. I'm just gonna turn in. What? Let's see. Wow, I didn't know it was that big. Let me turn it right here. And you got your schools right here. This is new too, Greenway Village. These are nice. I like these. It's more my type, but I mean, I don't like it being all connected. I like the way this. I like the setup, but you know, and it's like a village-like setting. But yo, you have things like this. You got places and areas like this all over Charlotte. Like this, this right here is is you know it's new, but this is you you see this everywhere in Charlotte. Let me bust this U-turn. I'm gonna take y'all further up. I don't know how much these are going for. Oh uh, yeah, that's a dead end. I don't know how much these are going for. I can't say. I don't even know how many bedrooms they have. It looks like, man, it looks pretty big, these house, houses. Um, I'm assuming, the, from what I can see, how based on how big they are, Anywhere between, man, probably anywhere between four to six bedrooms, cause they they're just that big. Now these that are connected, I don't I don't I don't know if they're one big full house. I don't know. No, they're separate. Yeah, these are nice, man. But just there's, there's no, you know, there's no no park and you know no. You know, no no front yard and backyard. I, man, I can't do that. They're nice though. And then you got your school right here. I don't know what school that is. Let me pull in this parking lot right here real quick. I didn't know it was more back here. These are nice, man. They probably going, I don't even know how much these are going for. By the looks of it, the way this, this place looks, you know, it's kind of decked out. You know, I'm pretty sure apartments is going like, eh? mm. and you're in Ballantyne? Man, apartments probably going for like 2,000 a month. It may be even more than that. You in Ballantyne? Yeah, okay. Well, and this is not all a Valentine. This is just like a little piece. This is, you know, I can't take you all through, throughout, you know, everywhere in Valentine. I mean, in Charlotte, period, because it's just Charlotte is just so widespread. I, I it it'll take it'll take me months to just show you all everything. I gotta bust this U-turn. I should have went out the other way. Wow, I didn't know all of this stuff was back here, man. See that building right there? That's new. So I'm gonna take y'all up here and show y'all like the, the business area. And it's like a little small, it's not, this ain't no downtown, you know, but it's a small area. You know, it's a small like, I, you wouldn't call it downtown, but it, they got buildings, you know. This is their own little separate Valentine. Oh man, they got their own little separate thing going on here. I didn't know any of this stuff was back here. I, I haven't been back here in a minute. You got Portobello Sandwich Shop, Cabo Fish Taco. It's been a while since I've been back here. You know, so these these are more like, you know, this area is more like business, you know, a business area. But Ballantyne is a place where, you know, you are, uh, you can, 
shop here, live here, and work here. You know, that's how the setup is. So you got your eateries and stuff like that on the left-hand side, Tropical Cafe, Smoothie, Broken Egg Cafe, Genghis Grill. I came here, I went here for something one day. I can't remember what it was. So this is Ballantyne Commons Parkway that we're on right now. This should lead us back to where those pylons are. Uh, um, uh, and then I'm gonna take y'all down like uh, on the other side. They got a YMCA over here. They got, they actually, Valentine actually has two YMCAs, you know. That's how, you know, rich Valentine is. They have a, a, a smaller one um, and then they have another one that's uh, not too far from where we left at, you know, where I showed you all apartments at. Not too far from there. From there, they have a, a, a bigger one. Um, both of the both of the both of the YMCA's are fly. They're not as nice as the Dow one. You know, um, on the left hand side right here, you got Harris Teeter, but they're not as fly as the the the, the one that I go to in Uptown. But they they're nice. The only thing that I really don't like about um. Both of the uh, YMCA's is that they don't have a hot tub, they don't have a steam room, and they don't have a sauna. Neither one of the uh, YMCA's have that. And that's just a, like a real turn off for me. And I mean, of course, I can't, even if they did have it available now, I can't use it because of this COVID-19, you know, but it's nothing like it, man. You know, to, to when 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 they had it available when it was open and prior to COVID-19, man, it wasn't nothing like, you know, working out and then hitting the sauna and the steam room and a hot tub. It wasn't nothing like it. So on the left hand side, they got a movie theater, Smoothie King. Oh, let me make this right right here. Get over. Um, and a bunch of other stores. They got townhomes on the left hand side. So is it this turn? Yeah, I think it's this turn, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be the other turn. Let me go in here real quick and show y'all that, and then I'm gonna go come out and tell you and show y'all the other. Yeah, man, Valentine is it is its own entity. Um, it's it's no violence out here. But you gotta, you know, you know, you know how it goes. You gotta pay to play. Period. You got Duckworks Grill and Tap Tap House. As you can see, they have, you know, where you can um, eat outside. You got Sabor Latin Grill. You got Lapels Dry Cleaning, Hue Salon, Posh Nails and Spa, uh, Blue Olive Lounge, Roosters, Cure. Sunflower, you got Bay Leaf Indian Grill, King Kebab, Tony's Pizza. Now, I'm not uh, like doing the same thing. I'm not making a video of Valentine and it's like the, the one that I did, the first one. No, no, no. I never showed you all any of this on the first Valentine video that I did. And this is not, this is not really all of Valentine. This is just a portion of it. Um, when I first moved here, I wanted to move to Valentine because it's, you know, you know what it is? It's just all hype. You know, I mean, of course it's nice out here and, and, and you know, it's, you have a lot of things, you know, that you can do in this area. Well, not a lot, lot, but you know, some things that you could do in this area. It's, but it's all for clout though, you know what I'm saying? People just move here just to say, I live in Valentine. And that's that. I think this is right over here. I think the YNCA is up here, if I'm not mistaken. If it's, if it is, it is, it's not, it's not. So, you know, they got all of these, you know, places, places of business. But as you can see, man, you know, it's his own, 
Valentine is his own thing. You know, at one point in time, they were trying to separate from the city of Charlotte and they were unsuccessful at that. So they've been fighting for years to, to become its own entity. Oh, excuse me, man. Oh, the YMCA is right here on the left, uh, excuse me, on the right hand side. Right here on the right. This is, why is this YMCA right here is, is new. And they're closed too. Some of the branches of the YMCA, some branches are closed. But yeah, that's the YMCA. But this, this would be like, this, this whole area that I'm showing you all, this would be a downtown in a, in a small town. You know, but as you can see, this this is Ballantyne. But this was this would be somebody's like this area right here is not even. I don't think Durham, North Carolina's downtown is is as big as Ballantyne's area. I, I don't know what you would call this business area or whatever have you. Got golf academy. They have a uh, yeah, that's the golf course right here. I don't know what they're building right here on the left. Yeah, but if you want to move here, no problem. None at all. There's no problem. Only thing is you got to have that money. You got loft hotels on the right. All of these these buildings right here on the left that we just passed is new. So, yeah, I just took you all through mostly, uh, you know, portion of, of, of Ballantyne, the more popular area of Ballantyne. About to get back on Valentine Commons Parkway, make this right, and then um, I'm gonna make another right that's going to um, take me to 485, and then I'm on my way home. You know, uh, I'm really gonna start digging in into uh, doing houses, you know, going into uh, different houses and um, showing you all, you know, different houses. So y'all can get a feel of, you know, what you're getting into, you know, for those that, that want to rent or, uh, or that want to buy. You know, they have the buses that come out here. It's the number 43. If I'm not mistaken, it's been some years since I rode the bus, but if I'm not mistaken, the 43 doesn't run like uh, a normal bus schedule. It runs, um, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday it doesn't run, and also it runs in particular hours, you know, uh, the morning and the afternoon. And the, the bus, I'm just gonna be straight real with you. The only people or persons that ride the bus are ones that don't live in Buck, um, Valentine, but work in, in Valentine. You know, so they're, they're like coming from North Charlotte and catching the bus, the train, the Lynx train, and then from the Lynx train, catching the, this 43 out to Valentine. And then the, for those that don't, that, that don't work, they're catching the bus to Uptown. You know, excuse me, they're catching the 43 and then the Lynx train to Uptown because they may work there. Other than that, normally people don't ride the bus, you know, um, you definitely need, I would suggest that if you stayed in Valentine, you, you would need a car. You know, unless everything was in walking distance, like your job, um, the places you were gonna shop at, you know, grocery stores, etc. Other than that, you you definitely need a, a, a car here. Um, Johnston Road is really the main road that, um, go man, is really the main road that would take you, you know, straight through Ballantyne and into Indian Trail. And I'm gonna, before I do houses, I'm gonna do Indian Trail. I'm gonna do a little bit of Indian Trail. I'm gonna take you all to the gun range that I go to. That's in Indian Trail, South Carolina. And then it's an area that they're just building that town, it has townhomes, houses, 
some of everything in that area. They just built a Walmart over there too. And they also have like a shopping area, um, Harris Teeter and all of that, where Audrey Kell Street Road is. So I'm gonna take you all of that before I start doing houses because um, Indian Trail, or Indian Land, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to call it. Anyway, it's South Carolina. It's, it's right, like it runs, what, you take Johnson Road straight out, it runs you right into South Carolina. So you can actually live in South Carolina and still like be two minutes away from, from Charlotte. And for those that will wanna pay less, cause of course, if you live in South Carolina, you're paying way less than you would pay um, or renting or buying a house than you would pay in Charlotte. So that would be a good decision, you know, for those that are, like wanna flip it like that, you know, and like I said, you're, you're like minutes away from everything, you know? Um, right on the left hand side, we about to uh, pass uh, Carolina Place Mall. You got Pineville right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna take you all through that. I'm gonna take you all to, to the gun range. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna take you to the townhomes and the new houses that they have out there. You know, um, at Indian Land or Indian Trail, I, I forgot which one, but it's, it's either, it's one of them. So we're passing over Pineville right now. This is Highway 40, 485. They're about to put um, express lanes on the left-hand side. They're gonna put a, express lanes right here. Um, they're building really fast in this area, man. You know, so I would suggest that if you wanna live in Ballantyne, in this area or whatever, or well, we're not in Ballantyne anymore, but if you wanna live in this area, I, I would suggest that you immediately, you know, start looking because um, they're building fast. And of course, you know, the more people come here, the more popular the city becomes, prices go up. Prices go up. So what you may be paying for an apartment in Ballantyne, let's say, take, take for example, you may be paying $2,000 for an apartment in Ballantyne. Once pe more people migrate here, and you know, the city is, becomes bigger and bigger, and they start to have like a lot of attractions, you know, here. Um, I know I've, I've heard they in um, talks of uh, building a zoo here inside the city. Um, but city limits rather in Charlotte. I don't know exactly where they may put it. Um, we do have a, a, a zoo right now. Not Charlotte, but North Carolina. We do have a, a zoo that I think is the biggest on the East Coast, if I'm not mistaken. It's um, in Asheville or Asheboro. I get them mixed up. Asheville, I think, is a, is a on the mountains, and Asheboro, yes, is yes, I think it's Asheboro. And yo, that zoo is, is is mad big. You know, it's like it's so big you gotta catch like a, a bus to take you from one end to the next, like a one of them little mini buses. But yeah, we do have a, a zoo. Um, Charlotte is hours away from the mountains. I've been, I've been, I'm, I haven't actually got out and walked around. But I've been through it, you know, like the, the mountains, because I went to uh, Tennessee. Uh, no, was it Kansas or Tennessee? One of the two. I went there, man, it's scared. I ain't gonna even lie. Y'all y'all have to excuse me for my, 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 you know, my language. It scared the shit out of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you driving on a mountain and the, the cliffs are steep, you know? So, yeah, so we're, I was, we're about two hours away from, an hour and a half to two hours away from the mountains. We are hour and, a half, hour and a half, two hours away from the zoo. Um, we're four hours away from Atlanta. We're minutes away from South Carolina. Um, we're about, what is it? About 12 hours away from New York. I think that's about it, man. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Um, I want you all to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. Like I said, um, the next video will be with me um, going to the gun range, and I, you know, let y'all know, uh, how, you know, the gun range, and y'all get a feel of how it looks or whatever um, when I go. And uh, I would suggest that gun range. You got uh, Blackstone. Blackstone is a, is a more popular, you know, upscale. Uh, gun range but it's expensive 
You know, and then you got Carolina Sports, which is off of South Boulevard. I'm only saying this because somebody said, um, asked, asked me what, what gun range should I go to, you know, as far as living in Charlotte. Um, you got Carolina um, gun range off of South Boulevard. I don't really like that, that gun range. Not my forte. You have another gun range that's uh, in Matthews. Now, that gun range is pretty laid back. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but out of all of the ones that I've been to, I like the one in, um, they call it Ballantyne something gun range. It's, it's not, technically it's not in Ballantyne. It's actually in South Carolina. Damn, 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 damn. Somebody give me some space so I can get over. Cause I can't make a damn. <sighs> I, I'm gonna have to do it. Could, could you let me over, bro? Anyway, um, I'm gonna manage to get over it. Uh, yeah, so they have, um, so we're in Steel Creek right now. You know what I'm saying? So this is how, how close, you know, um, we are to, to Steel Creek. Could you let me, let me get over, yo? Could you let me get over? Okay, you're not, yo, you, you want some next with it, yo. Yo, can I get over? It won't let, it, it say I gotta, I gotta make the left. Appreciate it. Damn. <laughs> it ain't that deep, you know what, like, like seriously, I can't, you, you can't let me over? Anyway, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> anyway, he was like, yo, he, at first he was like, nah, nah, I can't, what? This is unheard of. You can't let me over. Anyway, so we're minutes away from, um, as you can see, we're minutes away from Valentine. Um, but yeah, that, getting back to the gun range thing. Um, so yeah, I suggest the one that's technically it's in South Carolina. It's in Indian land, uh, Indian trail. I forgot the name of the little town. Um, it's in... It's in, uh, technically it's in South Carolina, but they call it Ballantine um, Gun Range. Mm, excuse me. So I suggest that when the people in there are mad cool, you know, um, and they have lanes available there. The lanes, I think they got about 20, 20 lanes available. And um, for the most part, they're pretty, you could get in there at any time, except for, of course, you know, like after four, you know, but you can actually book a lane. It, it costs you five dollars. You can book a lane online. It costs you five dollars. But other than that, they have lanes available. Like in the afternoon, like I just I just went um, this afternoon. Right now it's about four o'clock, but I went like um, at one, and they had they had a ton of lanes available. They had a ton of lanes open. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, and um, for those that, that want to visit or whatever have you, oh yeah, that's right, you can't, oh, well, I, for those that want to visit, that's right, so of course you can't bring your guns with you, you know that, for a fact, you know, um, but for those that want to, you know, want to visit and want to shoot, want to come with me to shoot, I don't ain't got no problem, you know, you can come as a guest and you can rent guns there, so you can, um, they got all sorts of guns that you can rent, you know, and then you can buy the, the, the ammunition there. So you good, you know, you want to come down and you visit and um, you want to get a feel of the, of, the, of the gun range and, you know, shoot some guns. Hey, I got you. you don't, yeah, I ain't going to charge you for, you know, for you to be a guest, um, for you to be my guest. You know, you're just going to have to pay for your rental, you know, rent the gun and, and the ammunition. And I can, actually, I can actually rent the gun. It'll cost me, I think, six bucks just to rent the gun. You know, you buy your ammunition and you good. You know, other than that, we back on South Tryon Road. I'm about to make this left right here. This is like, I go to this food line because they got these uh, meatless filet chicken things. I'm going to make a Philly sandwich tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to probably cook about 6 o'clock. Y'all gonna have to bang out with me one day, man, because it can't be all about the tours, man. Y'all gotta get to know me and who I am. 
Like, you know, a lot of people, um, you know, thank me for, for, for doing these tours, but yeah, but you got to get to know me. You can't just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a tour guy. I'm not a, 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 a leasing, uh, what is it, a rental agent, re, I don't know, a real estate agent? I'm none of that. You know, I'm just a regular dude that said to himself, you know what, I should start doing these tours so, you know, people that want to move that have, you know, an easier um, move than I did. So y'all got to get to know Langston 2092. Y'all got to, y'all, you know, y'all got to get to know why I named myself Langston 2092. You know, you got to get to know the author because that's who, that's what I am. I'm, a, I'm an author. I wrote, wrote two books. I got a, a book that's coming out. Um, I'm planning on dropping it, um, releasing it. However you want to put it, around February, March, you know, so for those that definitely want to thank me for, you know, doing these tours, you can thank me by purchasing my book when I put it out. So you got Buddha's Bazaar, Charlotte Vapes, Dollar Tree right here, Food Lion, Advanced Auto, Boost by Mobile. You got a lot of shopping areas, <laughs> a lot of places where you can spend your money at. But yeah, I would recommend the two books that I put out, you know, um, that I have that I have out now. I would, but I don't recommend it. And the reason why I don't recommend it is because I don't know if you all familiar. And that's what I'm saying. If you got to get to know me, me, not the, the tour guy, the, the dude, the, the, the author, you know, you got to get to know me. Go to my. Um, I have it on my, my on this channel. Go to. Uh, playlist and you'll see um, you know confessions of an ex Nuwabian you'll see um, uh, my life fast money and women I think that's how it is and and go through that playlist and you'll get to know who I, who I am you know so you'll get to know that at one point in time I was part of a cult called the Nuwabian nation you see what I'm saying? So I get, making it relevant, I would recommend my two books that I wrote, but it's but those two books are about the cult. So I don't want y'all to get things misconstrued. You see what I'm saying? When you when when I when I you know like say things like the master teacher or you know uh, Anu and all the rest of that. Nah nah nah, scratch that. This book that I'm putting out this time is all about me. It don't have nothing to do with no cult. It don't have nothing to do with no master teacher and none of that. You understand? So I would I would just ask you all to be patient and when I put it out you know hey show me some love other than that I'm out later